This video is sponsored by All PCB. This is a DIY LiPo battery charger device with a battery management system. This device can charge any single cell lithium ion or lithium polymer battery. Apart from battery charging, the device has an ESP8266 raw chip. This chip is capable of connecting to the Wi-Fi network and sending the battery voltage and battery percentage data to any IoT app. In case you don't want to use the Wi-Fi feature, you can monitor the battery status on this tiny OLED display. The battery, being a device primary power source, requires constant voltage monitoring to prevent damage or system failure from improper charging discharging. This task is handled by the battery management system. The BMS keeps track of the battery voltage, current, temperature and has an auto cutoff system ensuring the safe usage of lithium ion or lithium polymer batteries. Previously, BMS merely monitored battery conditions and altered users through battery indicators. But with the advent of the Internet of Things, users can now receive remote notifications and check their battery status from anywhere using smartphones or computer dashboards. In this project, we designed our own PCB and assembled ESP8266 raw chip, a low-powered LDO and a battery charger chip. This battery charger chip has all BMS feature. Given the device's low power consumption, it uses the battery power to transmit data to the ThinkSpeak server. The ThinkSpeak dashboard visually represents the battery charging and discharging status. So let's build this DIY LiPo battery charger with IoT voltage monitoring system. Let's take a look at this design part of this project. Starting from here, it has a micro USB port for battery charging. The battery charging is managed by this IC called MCP73831 which is a very efficient battery charging chip from microchip. This LED indicates battery charging. The 2.7 volt lithium ion battery can be connected here. This is a slight switch to turn on and off the entire circuit. Then we have a low power LDO called SD7333 from Holtec. This supplies 3.3 volt power to the entire system. The main important thing is this voltage divider network registers value which is fed to the ESP8266 ADC pin which calculate the battery voltage. Then we have ESP8266 raw chip which controls the entire operations for battery management. Using these header pins, we can program the raw ESP8266 chip. The programming operation is handled by these two transistors which are automatic. There is no need to press any reset or flash button. Everything is automatically managed. These GPIO ports are optional, you may use them to connect any digital sensors or peripherals. This OLED display is also optional, in case you don't want to use the Wi-Fi feature. After designing the schematic, I converted the schematic to PCB. The PCB is very tiny and the components needed to be soldered on both sides. This is the 3D view of the PCB. The PCB looks awesome. Now, I generated the GOVA file. Now, it's time to order the PCB. So, I visited All PCB, which is the official sponsor of the video as well. You can get your trial PCB at only $1 here. It is very cheap compared to all other PCB manufacturers. I uploaded the GOVA file and filled the details like material type, dimensions, quantity, thickness, solder mask color and other required parameters. And then I clicked on quote now. Here you see the price is only $1. Now I selected my country of shipment and placed the order. Now after 5 days I received this PCB. Look at this PCB quality. It is very premium and has a perfect design for my project. If you want to order the PCV at $1, check the first link in the description. Now, it is time to solder all the components on this PCV board. So, I collected registers and capacitors from my registers capacitors book. 
then i manage transistors ic battery holder and all other required components i have posted the bill of materials on my website with footprint then i started soldering all components on the front side first solder all the assembly components like registers capacitors transistors led push buttons and micro usb port be careful about the smd led polarity Place it in the proper direction. After soldering all this, you can solder the ASP8266 raw chip. On the back side, you can solder all the registers, capacitors, MCP73831 IC, ST7333 IC. After soldering all the assembly components, you can solder the through-hole components like slide switch, battery connector pins, and male-female heater pins. So everything is soldered now. The board looks awesome and perfect for this project as I soldered everything perfectly. So it's time to test this hardware now. To do that, first connect the 37 volt LiPo or lithium ion battery to the battery port. Slide the switch to turn on the system. When the switch is lit, the LED on ESP8266 chip blinks, which indicates the hardware is fine. To test the battery charging, ensure the micro USB charger to micro USB port. The red LED on the board turns on immediately, indicating the battery charging system is working fine. To test whether you are able to upload the code to the ESP8266 chip or not, connect the FTTI module to the board using the pins mentioned in the PCB. Make sure to connect the RTS pin from side of the FTTI module as well. Connect the FTTI board to your computer and open Arduino Blink case. From the board list, select generic ESP8266 board and also select the COM port. Now, hit the upload button to upload the code. After successful uploading, the Arduino IDE will show the following messages. This means the code is successfully uploaded and you are ready to go. On the other hand, the onboard LED on the ESP8266 will turn on off for one second. So the board testing part is done. Now let's move to the main project that is DIY LiPo battery charger with IoT voltage SOC monitoring system. All we need is the code for battery charger voltage testing and sending it to the ThinkSpeak server. In order to monitor the battery data on ThinkSpeak server, you first need to set up the ThinkSpeak. To set up the ThinkSpeak server, visit thinkspeak.com. Create an account or simply sign in if you created the account earlier. Then create a new channel with the following details. Then go to the API section of the dashboard and copy the API key. This API code will be used in the code to receive the data from ESP8266 hardware. Now let's move to the coding part. The script is for an ESP8266 microcontroller to read battery voltage, calculate the percentage and then send this information to a thing speak channel using a Wi-Fi connection. From the following lines, change the Wi-Fi SSID, password and ThingSpeak API key. We are reading the battery voltage using the ADC pin of ESP8266 chip. The battery maximum voltage is 4.2V and the cutoff voltage is 2.8V. 
To convert the ADC value into voltage, we multiplied the ADC value by a factor of this number. This factor is an experimental value which we got from the voltage divider network by manual testing. The rest is explained in our website article. Now let's upload this code. After uploading the code, it is time to test the LiPo battery charger with online voltage charge monitoring system using ESP8266 on ThinkSpeak server. Open the serial monitor. The serial monitor will display the ADC value, battery voltage and battery SOC charge. The ESP8266 will simultaneously connect to the Wi-Fi network and will upload the data to the ThinkSpeak server. To view the data on ThinkSpeak server, go to the private view section on the ThinkSpeak dashboard. Here is the charging graph that shows the rising voltage per time as the battery was put in a charging state. It just took 30 minutes to attend full charging as I was charging the device using a 500 mAh LiPo battery. In order to see the discharge curve, I had to leave the device turned on for the whole night. As the device is low power, the discharging process is slow. Here is the discharge graph on ThinkSpeak server. You may set up the widgets and graphical display on ThinkSpeak server according to your wish. Apart from monitoring the voltage online, what if you do not have a Wi-Fi connection? In this case, you may solder a 0.96 inches I2C OLED display on the backside and right go to display battery voltage and percentage on OLED. In conclusion, we have successfully created a DIY LiPo battery charger that integrates an IoT voltage monitoring system using an ESP8266 board. Our custom design PCV is awesome. Thanks to all PCV for this PCV and thank you all for watching this video. See you in the next video. Bye bye.